bien, de Capitán. We could rechange that song to fishing with a man named Jandar. <laughs> Coming up. Located just 40 minutes from Latuco, Mexico, San Agustinillo is a quiet, rustic town that provides all the amenities of home. This quaint area on Mexico's southern coast is also home to some of the most unmatched inshore and blue water fishing found anywhere. On today's show, Bob and Wayne head out with legendary fisherman and fellow Canadian Shandor Vige. Shandor and his family spend half the year in Canada and the rest of the year in Mexico. And what a hideaway. With miles of beautiful beaches, San Agustinillo is one of those rare gems you hear about. Here comes. Whoa. Oh, where are you? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You gotta love it. Pretty young. All right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, dude. man. Wait a size that one. Oh, there you got him. Yeah. There you go. All right. That is a monster. <laughs> the Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Nice one. Whoa. Woohoo wee. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this baby. Biggest pike ever. <laughs> All right. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah. A good one. Whoa. Here he comes. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> this is what Oak Beach fish is all about, right? 16 pounds. <laughs> Look at this. Real Fishing is sponsored by Chevy Trucks, Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. Hey, folks, that's what I call real fishing. Eric Weisman from Explore Fly Fishing hosts Wayne and I down in San Augustinillo, Mexico for some unbelievable saltwater fishing on the Pacific. This seaside town with about 300 full-time residents is a unique place where the locals make you feel at home right away. Eric and his partner Shandor Vig have established a first-rate saltwater guiding service on the southwest coast and it didn't take long to see why this fishery is so remarkable. Having fly fished the first few days with Eric, we decided to head out on day three with Shandor to try some conventional tackle. Now Shandor is quite a character, and there are many stories about this individual, most of which I think are true, including him meeting the boys from the group Men at Work. You remember the song, Down Under, He Just Smiled and Gave Me a Vegemite Sandwich? Well, that's supposed to be Shandor in the song, and so the legend goes. Owner of the local hotel Paricio del Pescador, as well as the Restaurante Alexana, Shandor and his wife Teresa, along with their children Anna and Sila, have made this small town their home, at least for part of the year. Summers are spent in northern Ontario, just outside Timmins. Now that's two extreme cultures. As we headed out for day three, we set off with some light saltwater tackle, including minnow baits and lipless crankbaits. It wasn't long before we hooked into a fish. Or should I say Wayne hooked into a fish? You got him? <laughs> Wayne's got a fish on that broke a, it broke a rod holder here. And he doesn't think it's a big fish, but, but it's got attitude. You don't think it's a big fish then, Wayne? No. No? Okay. That's a very good eating fish. Is it? Yeah. What is it, Shandor? Chula. All right. That's a nice one. She's going to be happy. We keep Shandor's <laughs> wife happy. If we don't come home with fish to eat today, she's going to divorce him. Better he don't come home. Yes, better he doesn't come home. <laughs> he better to stay out on sea. Yeah. Got one again. Oh, it's a good thing we brought Wayne along anyway. He's catching all the fish here. Is that another one to keep the wife happy? Another day, another dollar. Here we go. This ocean's not big enough for his head. <laughs> Little beach trolling today. Sorry, Shendo, I guess you have to have a last name like Izumi to get a fish on. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, guy? All right. Look at that thing. There I go. There are. All right, look at the teeth on these dudes. You think this is this a tuna family, is it? It's a tuna family, that's what it is. Tuna family. Good eating fish. Here. All right. 
wife will be happy. That she's already is. All right. Oh, do you mean finally? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, I got one too. <laughs> yeah, I got. <laughs> Didn't take Shandor long to get one. Only an hour. Oh, there's Bob. Bob. <laughs> That's why they're Canadians over there. It's Bob. <laughs> the only people in the ocean are all Canadians. <laughs> What are the chances of having a couple guys from Timmins troll by you? There's <laughs> <laughs> lots of fun on this. Watch out because that's lots of teeth. Man, he's gotta be the biggest. <laughs> Got a mark from, from a birthmark actually, grown over. All right. I'm telling you, this is the biggest, huh? Smallest rod. Look at that. Woo! Cuidado porque este delgadito de línea. Oh! Oh! It was a good fight. When we return, you gotta love this fishing. There's no fishing pressure here, except the other boat from Timmins. Yeah, the competition. Closed captioning is brought to you by FNCC and MotorExam.com. Well, I'm originally from Hungary and uh, emigrated to Canada, which is my other home. And uh, I spend usually five, six months in here and seven over there. It's uh, special. It's very, very safe. Everybody know each other, like a small little village, kids, adults, lots of friends, lots of Canadians, Americans, and uh, basically it's just like a little family village. We are very close to the blue water and the farthest point in the Pacific side we're very close by. And uh, lots of bait fish, lots of currents meets in here, different currents. It's an excellent fishing spot. The people great. Food is good. It's just a nice quiet little place, like a hideout. <laughs> the boat all the way. Amazing, no? Yeah, it is. It's such an awkward The feeding frenzy going on out here in the, in the ocean. He just smoked it. He's gonna go away. He's coming, checking the boat and go one more. Put some meat into this guy. There's so many dolphins around us. And birds, all kinds of bait fish out here. Oh, okay, there it is. I think they're fresh too now. Cuidado con la motor. We might have supper on here, guys. Whoa. Come on up, baby. Oh yeah, yellowfin. All right. Well, that's a good one. Okay, so we're several miles offshore here, and the captain saw these birds working and dolphin, or porpoises, I should say, all over the place. And usually you get the bait being pushed up by the porpoises, and the birds come around. Oh, there, there he is. Look at this. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right. All right, boss. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Beautiful fish. That's a good barbecue size. <laughs> ah, good barbecue size. We're talking. They hit hard, huh? Not a big oh. fish, but it's no, powerful. No, pound for pound, they fight so hard, you know. That thing hit like you would go in the opposite direction. <laughs> All right, 
Wayne's got a tune on. He's got the uh, the nice, you know, lazy man chair in the back, taking life easy. Been fighting this thing for about five minutes now. Oh, yeah, nice tuna. Did it this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. don't lose that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, don't lose oh, that one. Oh, Bring oh, that's gaff. a good one. That's, he's not finished yet. Let him take it. He's going to gaff it. Here, come up here, Wayne, so you can swing it. All right. Oh, that's a good one. Yahoo! Good stuff. <laughs> nice gaff job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess you got to get them when they're active, huh? When they're up. Well, that's that's a good one. We just uh, just got a weight on it. 23 pounder, right? Not bad. Not bad. Let's take a look down under with this week's fish eye view, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. These days, there are a lot of different techniques for catching walleye, some stranger than others. Given the right circumstances, they'll even hit the surface. One of the oldest methods is still one of the best, jigging. Indeed, the twister tail is a walleye standard. Cheap and easy to use, jigs take fish in a hurry. At times, walleye appear suicidal, and yet, as any experienced angler knows, there are those other times. Prone to rapid mood swings, they become darn near impossible. At best, it's a few bumps and nudges you'd swear are tiny panfish. A softer approach to jigging can help, so too a near motionless vertical presentation. Basically, it's a do-nothing technique that demands concentration and quick reflexes. If this doesn't work, try downsizing by removing the tail portion. It may look ridiculous, but who can argue with success? If all else fails, here's a surefire trick. Send down a minnow on your jig. Live or dead, it doesn't seem to matter. Even midday walleye, fast asleep, can be roused into action when offered the real thing. And don't be afraid of working the bottom to stir things up a little. Yes, walleye really know the difference when it's a genuine minnow out there. And, as we all know, when sushi's on the menu, chopsticks are optional. Hey folks, we'll be right back with some more of this MexicoFishing.ca after this. Woo-wee! This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. I'm here with Matt Maurice, who's the head chef at the Martini House, downtown yeah. Burlington. That's right. Well, Matt, we met during a business lunch when I was there with one of my sponsors. And in fact, we had the gal from Coleman there, and right. I brought the road trip grill up. Yep. We've been out catching perch today on Lake Simcoe. What do you say? You got a recipe you're going to show me today? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do a take on a perch parmesan. So we're going to just lightly dust the perch in seasoned flour, roll it in parmigiano reggiano, parsley, and egg, and then we're going to crust it with uh, sweet Japanese breadcrumb, which is also known as panko. So we got this pan nice and hot. Look at the buzzard sizzling. Quick brown butter. Lots of butter, eh? Yeah. Okay. You'll see. And we'll just saute these until golden brown and rotate them, and they'll come out perfect. Okay, so those babies look golden brown. That's it. Just like that. They don't take long to cook then. Not at all, no. But uh, about two and a half minutes aside, we'll just throw a little bit of fresh chive just to finish it. This is the, uh, the sauce. This is uh, sriracha, toasted sesame oil, and low sodium soya sauce. All right. And it's a tasty treat. <laughs> looks good. Looks good. These birds are going crazy. Huh? Look at these birds. Look at Look at Look at all atom. No, I got one. Whoa! Oh, it's an empty. Oh, oh I got one too. Oh, he's empty. Okay. Triple header. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm pretty good, I think. I'm about right 12 o'clock off the back of the boat. All right. Yeah, this is men at work. Go look at Shandor. He's up there in the fighting bow. Okay, I got mine real close here, guys. Yeah, I can flip this one. Here we go, guys. This rod is amazing, huh? Okay, hold on. 
All right. And I'm one. on. Here we go. One, two. One second. All right. Look at the splashes he makes. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's Wayne a, still got his on. I think he got the big one. That's why. Come on, Wayne. Let's see. You've been working out. Let's see these muscles. Well, that's a little bit bigger than us. <laughs> okay. I think he's beating us to the size. All right. How about that? We're talking, we're just going to have a sandwich and it's like triple header time. <laughs> yeah, right, what do you yeah. think of that? That's perfect. I think that's worthy of a sandwich out here on the Yeah, Pacific. I think we're going to have to have one though for sure. Time to go home. The pocket's full. When you got the one on, I was just, I was cranking mine. Just, come on, come on, come on. Boom. Boom. Oh, what's that in here? Celebration. And they're still going crazy out there. There's so much activity here, even the tuna boats are working their way. Yeah, right. and, we, and we beat the, beat the tuna boat. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is three of them coming. Mm -hmm. Beautiful out today, eh? it's not, not too hot. Yeah, it's like, it's got to be what, 70, 75? Perfect. Oh, he's going to take the other fish out. I say Shimano is numero uno. <laughs> you know, for a guy that uses a lot of hand lines, I think he's a Shimano fan now. What's going on? Ooh. What? What do you got on? Oh. What do you got on there? I missed that. Tuna? Tuna. Yellow fin. Nice this one. He's already tough. I'm gonna have to go. Okay, here he's going up to the fighting deck here. All right. Okay. This is a tough customer. Captain's getting right in there. All right. I knew that sandwich would help. You know, we just stopped for a quick sandwich. Lost that big flock of birds and, and uh, all the activity, but we didn't troll for what, maybe five minutes? Five minutes and bang, we got out of the one. Well, we're going to start heading back, see if we can't, if we maybe find some bottom fish. Bottom fish, yeah, because we have already tuna for the whole town. For the whole town. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> He's like Santa Claus. Up next on Real Fishing. Yeah, I need to know if we've got enough here because I like to eat. <laughs> I think it's a belly food. Tuna on special. So we're going to head back towards shore, try a little bottom fishing before we uh, knock off for our first shift of the day. We had this guy from New Zealand a couple of years ago, came fishing with us. So I was pulling this and he said, oh no, we eat those. I said, you guys using us for baits? I said, yeah. He said, oh, he said, this excellent stuff. He said, can I have one? He said, it's raw like that. He said, yeah. The gobs are done. He ate it? Oh, he ate it, but he threw up. He threw up alone. <laughs> he ate said, the bait. He ate the bait. <laughs> so I said, oh, he said, maybe. And then, then he calms down and he said, oh, maybe it's better than, better cooked. I said, I never see anybody do that. What is it, squid? <laughs> squid. Yeah. Because there is a big reef, but the fish is only on one particular spot. How much line? You have to go right onto the bottom. When the line stops, just like walleye fishing, isn't it? Yeah, except a little deeper. <laughs> a little deeper. <laughs> Very strong current. MexicoFishing.ca offers incredible fishing opportunities with dorado, jacks, roosters, tuna, sailfish, and many other species available right at your fingertips. This is truly a fisherman's paradise. Back at the hotel, we decided to take things easy for the rest of the afternoon, and boy was Teresa ever happy when she saw what we brought her back for the restaurant. 
You had a bad day, huh? You happy? Yeah, very happy. Yeah, good, because uh, he he said you were going to divorce her. <laughs> no fit. On our last day in San Augustinilla, we decided to take Shandor's daughters, Anna and Sitla, with us on the water. No strangers to fishing, these girls knew exactly what to look for out in the big open water. <laughs> We've got a couple of good luck charms with us, Anna and Sitla. we got two of the best looking ladies in Mexico with us and today. Shandor's daughters. hours trolling the beach, our good luck charms decided it was time to take a break from the fishing and have a little nap. Things were a little slow by the beach so we decided to head out and try some deeper water. We came across a group of locals spending the morning diving for oysters which was neat to see. But it was the Mexican tuna boat that we were approaching that really piqued our interest. Well, Bob, how would you like to have a real fishing job? Well, you know, they say it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. And I guess this would be, uh, you know, where that comes into play. This is a Mexican tuna boat, and these friendly guys are waving at us while they're men at work. Life is good. Give me five. <laughs> Crank it! No, 